Hello everyone. Welcome to the next session of Answers Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are solving the fatigue analysis of a ball bearing. We will start with static structural. Double click on it. Next, I'll go to geometry. I'll right click and import the geometry. I already have the geometry saved with me. You can create the geometry and then bring it here. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. Now, I'll go to coordinate system, right click here and insert coordinate system. I want to know the place where I'm inserting my coordinate system. So, I will click this inner portion and apply. So, this becomes my point where I am going to make my origin of the coordinate system. Next, I will go to connections and I will check the contacts that are present. I will hold the control button and select each of them. Next, I will go to type and from bonded, I will select no separation. I'll again go back to connections, right click, insert, joint. I have to select the scope. First, I'll select the inner race. I will select this portion, apply. And again, I'll go to scope. Here, I'll select this portion and apply. This is done. Next, I'll go to mesh, right click, insert method. I will select the entire bearing. I have already chosen the entire body. Now, if it doesn't get selected at one go, I will again press the control button. I'll hold it and I'll select the rest of the parts. Just turn the bearing and check if anything is left. Like I can see over here, this portion is left. So, I'll select that too. Now, the entire bearing is selected. Apply. I will choose the method of meshing as hex dominant. I'll now go to mesh again. Insert sizing. For this inner and the outer race, I am going to apply an element size of 3 mm. And for the inner balls, I am going to give another mesh sizing. I will choose the balls. And you can see certain parts are still left. Also turn and check this part is left. So all the balls and its cover is selected. I will click on apply and I will give the element size of 1 mm. So this completes all the types of meshing. I will go to mesh and update. Meshing completes here. Now I will apply the boundary conditions. I will go to static structural and insert displacement on this inner portion. As we know the bearing is not supposed to move in the x and z component but it is free to give some kind of reaction in the y component. Also I am going to apply some pressure on the bearing from the outer end. So I will select this surface and insert pressure. Let me say the magnitude of pressure is 10 megapascal. I am giving a random value. I will see what kind of fatigue I get. What is the life? What is the factor of safety? If this value gives me desirable results such that the bearing is safe for a lot number of cycles, then we are going to continue with this value or we can reduce this such that we can define in which range my bearing is going to be safe and work more effectively. So I will go to solution, right click, insert, 
deformation total i also want to see the stress on the body these two values are generally for a bearing which is under static load condition which means you apply the load and you see some amount of result on the body but suppose if the load on the bearing is of fluctuating type which means you apply the load remove it apply and remove it so with that what kind of results you will get is all about the fatigue part so i will go to solution right click insert fatigue tool and here i will leave the load type as fully reversed analysis type is stress life and mean stress theory i will change it to goodman theory next i'll go to fatigue tool and insert life and i also want to insert the safety factor next i'll go to solution and solve let's see the total deformation let's animate and see the result you can see the total deformation maximum value is 0.0071 mm you can see the unit is written here so this shows my total deformation now i'll see my equivalent stress on the body this is because of static loading i will have a stress of 155 mega pascal if you go to geometry and see the bearing each part has a material of structural steel we know that for structural steel the value of stress is going to be maximum of 86 mega pascal so i'll just go back to my engineering data and click on it this is my structural steel that i can see here we will see the alternating stress on the body i will change this interpolation from log log to semi log so i can see this and here you can see it is 86 mega pascal if you want to see in mega pascal just change it see it is 86.2 mega pascal so this is my value i'll go back to project and update project now i'll go to my model and open it i can see the results so this gives my results now because of structural steel the value should be 86.2 mega pascal you can see it is 155.22 mega pascal also if i want to see the life it is 69446 cycles which is the life of the body i will go to safety factor i can see that design life is 1 into 10 raised to 9 cycles but my body will only work for these many number of cycles 69000 446 that is because of the pressure which is applied on the body and it is obviously more than the capacity of the bearing so the life is going to reduce if you want to increase the life of your bearing and you want it to work for more number of cycles just reduce the amount of pressure on that bearing so here you can see this value is 0.55 which means my body is going to have some breakdown after the number of cycles that you can see over here 69446 now what we'll do is we'll just change this pressure to half say 5 mega pascal and solve this once again the deformation is here and this is the stress factor which you can see it is 77.609 now this is less than 86 mega pascal for structural steel which means my body is going to be more safe under this amount of pressure if i go to life i can see the number of cycles for which it can work minimum number of cycles is 1 into 10 raised to 6 cycles it was designed for 1 into 10 raised to 9 cycles which means my life has definitely improved and you can see over here safety factor is 1.11 when the value is more than 1 it indicates that your body will have a little longer life it will definitely wear after some point and break down but the life is going to be little more so with this i end the session i hope you have understood how to analyze a bearing and interpret the results for it
If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session with another analysis. Thank you.